Hey everybody, it's Tom from MC Things here again, and today we're going to do another video. Uh, what we're actually going to do today is use a light sensor that's soldered directly into the module itself. So if you remember from the MC Dev Board video where we actually showed you a demo of using the light sensor on the Dev Board, we didn't solder it. Now that we've actually worked through that project, we've actually soldered it directly onto the module. So what I'm going to do today is show you how did we solder that in, how are we actually using that light sensor to measure the light, and what am I going to get the MC module to do to tell me whether it's light or dark. So let's check it out. Okay everybody, so what we've done here is actually using the, a light sensor and a 2.2K resistor, we've actually soldered this into the different pins on this module itself. So I'll just show you, this is what a light sensor looks like. And what the light sensor actually does is when it detects light, it changes the resistance. And that's what part of what we're gonna measure. We've also added in a 2.2K resistor and that's gonna be our voltage divider. So showing you the module here, what we've actually done, We've soldered in the one side of the light sensor into the pin zero. We've also attached the resistor to the bottom of that and the other side of that resistor is going into pin six. And so essentially what I'm gonna do is measure the, the voltage difference between those two pins and it will change once this light sensor detects light or if it's in a dark area, the, the voltage will actually change. So next thing we've gotta do is get into MC Studio, go through the code, and then after that I'll show you um, how we can get this module to detect light or not. Okay, here we are in MC Studio and we're gonna walk through the code that we're using for this light sensor demo. First thing we actually have to do is go and define the pins. And so if you remember from the little video sh I showed you the module there, we have the light sensor soldered into pin zero. We also have the voltage divider we use soldered into pin six. And so what I'm actually doing is telling the module defining those pins and down in the code here we're going to actually have the module measure the voltage between those two pins and based on the light that the sensor is detecting it's going to change the voltage because that's essentially what the sensor does it when it detects light it changes its resistance and we're going to measure that and based on the resistance it outputs we're going to be able to tell whether it's light or dark out so a couple things to mention before we go through the code to learn more about the, the pins and the digital inputs and the analog inputs and all the different stuff you can do with the MC uh, modules and then the MC Things platform, go to our download or support section of our website, check out the MC script guide. That gives you a lot of information, including example projects and different details on, on certain uh, functions in MC Studio. And you can also check out the MC Mod 110 or MC Mod 120 spec sheet. Um, those will both also have lots of examples. It talks about SPI, UART I squared C, um, and how to, to measure and do different functions there. So you can learn more um, through that documentation. So now that I've defined the pins here, I'm going to now go through and we're going to have the module measure light every 50 milliseconds. So it's quite quick. Um, as you can see in the code here, I'm, a couple things. We're turning on the voltage divider. We're going to let it sleep for 20 milliseconds just to, to have the voltage stabilized so that we measure it properly. And then depending on the voltage that comes out of it, it will tell me whether it's, it's light out or not. And in this case, all I'm going to have the module do is turn on the LED when it's dark and turn it off when it's light out. So another thing I'll mention is if you're going to do this at home with a, a, a light sensor that you've purchased, Sometimes they, they are a bit different. They'll, they'll give, push out different resistance. So as you go through and, and check and work with this, use the debug feature in MC Studio to determine what voltage do I need to measure to determine when you think it's light or dark out. Um, and this is not just for light sensor, but all other types of sensors that you uh, attach to this. That's one of the great things about MC Studio is this debug feature that allows you to check your code, you can step over or step through code and make sure that you have all your variables measured properly before you load the program into the module. So the next thing we're going to do here um, alongside of checking the, the light uh, is I'm going to have the module check the temperature every one minute. So I'm going to do this through MQ, I'm going to have it published through MQTT. Uh, as you can see this code, it's, it's going to check this, the uh, temperature using the built-in temperature sensor on the module and it's going to publish that out to um, this MC thing slash outside temp. Now to learn more about MQTT and how to set all that up, you can check out our other YouTube video where we did an MQTT example using the read switch that's built into the MC module. 
Um, in that video, I walked through going through setting up an MQTT broker, how to do all that, how to work with MC Studio to publish your MQTT. And in that video, I also have an MQTT app where I've subscribed to the published events and that shows the temperature on my phone in real time. So it's a really good YouTube video to learn how to use MQTT. And so that's what I'm going to do here um, to publish the temperature that this module is going to check every minute. The last thing I'm going to do with this module, just to keep an eye on the on the battery level so I know when I need to replace it, I'm going to have it check every two hours what the voltage is. Now that's probably a very short time, but just for examples and, and demo purposes. So it's going to check every two hours. If it determines that the voltage is less than 2.2 volts, then instead of using MQTT, I'm going to have it published through an if um, recipe. And what will happen is if it determines that this battery is below 2.2 volts, I have the recipe set up so that it will actually notify me on my phone and let me know that this module needs to have its battery changed. So as you can see, I have this label as outside battery and outside temp, which means I'm going to actually throw this module outside um, and measure the temperature, have it tell me if the battery is low. And of course, the main point of this is to show you that it's actually using a light sensor to detect whether it's, it's light or dark out. So let's have a look at how does that uh, module work and will it tell me whether it's light or dark out. So let's have a look. Okay, so now we're going to install the battery and we'll see the red light turn on there quickly. And so now, again, if you remember from the code, we're having this module check the light intensity every 50 milliseconds. And then if it does detect that it's a different light intensity, it'll turn the light on. So as I go over and modify, and what I'm doing is just slightly changing the light intensity, of course, this is a very sensitive code just for demo purposes. But as I go over top of it, you can see the LED turn on and off because I'm changing the intensity that the light sensor is sensing. So it's a very quick and easy example of how you can solder in and use other sensors and devices with the MC module. Of course, remember in that code, I also have this module checking the temperature every minute, relaying that back through MQTT. And every two hours, it's going to check the battery voltage and let me know if, if my battery is starting to get low. So, Great example, again, you know, you can start to connect all sorts of other devices like a light sensor, like all sorts of other types of sensors using UART, SPI, I squared C, or even potentially just soldering it in like this. You can learn about all that on our website through our documentation. And of course, please check out our forum, check out our social media. We want to hear from you, go through all your projects and use cases, and I hope you have a great day.